beautiful, isn't it? You know, a hundred years ago, this particular forest didn't exist. It wasn't until fire and logging disturbed this area that these aspens sprang up. And with the aspen came a fresh mix of plants and animals. That's the way nature is. It changes and evolves. I'm Michael Edwards, park ranger here at Rocky Mountain National Park. For the next few minutes, I'd like to take you behind the scenes to show you how our forests are changing right before our very eyes. If you've driven through the western half of Rocky Mountain National Park lately, or really anywhere in the western U.S., you might have seen whole forests like this one. You might have wondered, what in the world is causing it? Would you believe it's a beetle about the size of a grain of rice? Mountain pine beetles are a part of the landscape. Outbreaks of beetles are normal, and just nature's way of rejuvenating the forest. But this is different. Rocky Mountain National Park has never seen an outbreak on this scale. And it isn't just happening here. All over the West, from Canada to Mexico, from sea level to mountaintops, mountain pine beetles, along with several other beetle species, are killing trees in record numbers and changing the face of the forest. Let's take a closer look at these insects and see just what's going on. We're headed up into the forest to see if we can't catch some beetles in action. One easy thing to spot are pitch tubes, these little popcorn sized blobs of sap that the tree puts out when it's trying to defend itself from invaders. Looks like this tree might have been able to ward off the attack. See how it forced these beetles out with the sap? If there were no beetles in the pitch tubes, we'd know this tree couldn't get rid of the beetles and that it was down for the count. This tree might still have a chance. Let's see if we can hear any beetles working in it. Okay. Nothing. Well, now I'm looking for another sign that this tree might be in for it piles of sawdust on the ground from where the beetles have bored into the bark. Nothing. Let's keep looking. Look, here we are. All this sawdust at the base from where the beetles have been boring into the bark. They're working right inside this tree. Here we have the gallery. Now if I pull back some bark, maybe we can get a glimpse of one of these beetles. Here's one right here. Wow. Look at this. Yep, they've definitely been here. And this grayish blue stain here is called blue stain fungus. 
Usually it's not the beetles that kill the tree, rather it's the fungus that the beetles carry around with them. The fungus clogs the cells of the tree, stopping nutrient and water exchange. Well, let's go ahead and move on to another location where I know the beetles have been working. 